he is a violent individual. Yes, he's a, he, he, the reason why he's here at 75 years of age is on the basis that he decided to flee the country in order to try and make good his escape and uh, avoid being held responsible and accountable for his part in what had taken place. And let's be absolutely clear, he is clearly the, the one person that was responsible for organising and planning this and making sure that those that went in there had firearms and loaded firearms in that case. Yeah, after uh, after being involved in it from the very beginning and giving a personal commitment to Paul and his family and Theresa as well, and as well as to the late Chief Constable Colin Cramphorn, that we would ensure that all those responsible would be held to account. It's uh, professionally pleasing for me, but more so I'm more concerned that uh, Paul, their children, Lydia and Paul Jr., uh, feel that's as they described in their closings, in their uh, statements, their impact statements, that this is the end of a chapter. And it, it is the end of a chapter. However, they clearly will never ever forget Sharon, as West Yorkshire Police will never ever forget uh, Sharon Beshenivsky and the, uh, the ultimate price that she paid for doing her job. You made a promise to. Well, we, we were working very, very closely with the Foreign Commonwealth Office, other agencies involved in order to try and track him down. Yes, we brought one back from Somalia and ultimately car back from Pakistan. So not frustrating, but it's a case of you've just got to wait for the right time for these things to happen. And it's putting political pressure on that. So you're in the hands of other people at the end of the day. You gave Paul Veshenivsky a promise the day that Sharon was killed. And here we are nearly 20 years later. And yeah, can you just explain how that feels for you, please? It's, it's, it is satisfying for me. However, this isn't about me. It's, this was a case of making sure that Paul and his family and all those other victims who were involved in this, whether it was Therese or those who had been involved in the robbery, got justice for the, uh, the pain and the suffering that they went through on that day. So yes, I am pleased, but it isn't about me. It's about those. I guess he spent the rest of his 50s and the rest of his 60s in another country and do you think that this punishment is a correct punishment for that? Yes, I think the, the judge accurately summed things up. He, uh, this, he ultimately set on his, his mind on being at 40 years, less the time he spent uh, waiting to be extradited and whilst on remand in the UK. So yes, I agree entirely with the judge's uh, summing up. And he also had to take into account the previous sentences for murder for those who had actually been involved uh, inside the robbery in the travel agents as well.